Hello girls, really nice you're joining us today. We are so excited that you're coming to Headington in September. We're sorry that you weren't able to join us this term to come and look round, but we're doing the next best thing, showing you all about it, introducing you to lots of people you're gonna see in September and finding out about the amazing opportunities here for you when you join us. I hope you have a wonderful summer and you're as excited about joining us as we are to see you then. Hi everyone, my name's Sophia and I'm your head girl here at Headington. Hi everyone, my name's Anna and I'm your head of boarding. Hi, I'm Tinny and I'm your head of day. We are so excited for you to join us here in September, but I do know that being a new student can seem like a very daunting prospect. And I want to reassure you that it is completely normal to be feeling nervous about this transition. While our school can seem like a really overwhelming place, there are lots of people and it is quite big. I assure you that among the busyness and bustle of school life is found a kind, caring and friendly community of people who love to learn together and see one another thrive. There are so many people on hand to support you as you join and I remember feeling so welcomed when I first joined the school as an upper three. One thing that really helped me settle in was getting involved with the massive range of extra activities and subjects that take place here. There truly is something for everyone, so I really encourage you to get involved with as much as you can. Giving things your best go is all that is asked of you and you will make some wonderful friendships through these opportunities. As you become a part of the different communities within Headington, be it the Astronomy Club or the Hockey Team, what once may seem like a huge school full of scary people you don't yet know, I assure you will become a community that feels more like an extended family. We are so excited to welcome you fully as you join us in September, starting your journeys as Headingtonians. Hello everyone. Firstly, I'd love to wish you a very warm welcome to Headington School. I know many of you may be feeling quite nervous about joining a new school, but I hope this helps put your worries at ease. I joined the school in Upper Four as a day girl originally, and then I moved to a border in Lower Six. I remember being filled with excitement, but also apprehension about moving schools, as I realised it can seem a quite a daunting process. But everyone in the Headington community made me feel so welcome, and I received so much support from both day girls and teachers. I actually only started boarding at the beginning of this year, Lower Six. Having never experienced boarding before, I was quite nervous about joining, but the friendly house mistresses and boarding graduates strive to make sure everybody feels at home and I settled in more quickly than I thought possible. One thing I would love to give advice to you on about Headington is to get involved in any activities that interest you. There are so many wide ranges of activities available here stemming from Chamber Choir, CCF, Duke of Edinburgh, even Dissection Club. I made the decision to join the Rowing Club a decision that has led me to make multiple friendships across different year groups that I'm sure will last me beyond my time here at Headington. I'd like to give you a warm welcome from all of us here at Headington. I'd also like to use this virtual opportunity to address any questions or concerns you or your daughter may have about joining the school. My advice to those intending to join us in September is to approach all Headington has to offer with an open mind. There's a wide range of opportunities in which your daughters can voice their ideas throughout the school. These entail events such as house events, writing for school magazines and clubs, catering for all interests and so much more. Your daughter will be able to build on her ability to interact at every level with every member of the Headington community. We've all been able to flourish here no matter our academic abilities or cultural differences and can assure you your daughter will feel most welcome and more confident over time. Thank you all and I look forward to seeing many of you in September. Hello, I'm Amanda Proctor and I'm the Deputy Head Pastoral at Headington. Headington is a fantastic school and you'll feel very welcome here from the moment you arrive. We want to do everything we can to help you settle in in September, make new friends quickly, find your way around and really feel settled. If you're happy, you'll thrive, you'll achieve your potential and you'll get fantastic results as you move through the school. We do an awful lot to make sure you feel supported and can find your feet when you join us in September. You might be feeling nervous, you might be feeling a little apprehensive. You might know other pupils who are coming to Headington, or you might not. Whatever you are and whoever you are, you'll soon find your place at the school and there'll be a huge range of people here to support you. At the bottom of the school, you will see your tutors every single day. You'll have two tutors, not just one, and they'll really get to know you. They're there as your first point of contact. So they'll take an active interest in you. They'll be there to celebrate your achievements, They'll be there to help you find the balance between your academic work and your co-curricular. And they'll also be there just to help you with things when little problems arise or when you're just not sure about what the right answer should be. 
Your tutors are supported by a head of year who will get to know your year group really well. They're there to see you all through all the different challenges that you'll face through the years, to give you lots of activities to have fun doing during form time, and they'll be leading assemblies and prayers regularly during the week, so you'll get to know them really well. Your tutors and your head of year will be really interested to know what you think of the school and they'll be listening to your voice and trying to adapt what we offer you as you go through the school based on your views and your opinions. Your head of section is a really important person and they will get to know you really well too. They're there for perhaps the more serious challenges, for when there's a bump in the road and you're not quite sure what the right answer should be. They'll be there again to get to know you, to work with you and your family and your parents, to find the solutions to those challenges when they come along. We also have a lot of other people who are there to support you through your time in school, whether that be the nurses in our fabulous health centre, who can be there just to offer you that support if you're not feeling very well on a particular day, or to give you some advice that might help you through a particular health issue. We have some counsellors at school as well, so if you feel you need someone to talk to confidentially, they're there to listen. We have a chaplain who's there to provide that listening ear to explore with people about their faith, or perhaps just to talk about what's going on in the world around us today and explore those big issues that are important to us all. We've also got, from September, an exciting new space, our wellbeing hub and there'll be a new director of wellbeing in place to really focus on making sure that everyone's mental and physical health is catered for um, and that wellbeing is at the heart of everything we do at Headington. You'll also find, as well as all of those staff, there'll be a lot of older girls and pupils who are interested in what you're doing. All of your forms will be led a couple of times each week by a group of six formers. They will get to know you, they can tell you all about what life is like at Headington, they can answer the questions that maybe you don't want to ask your teachers, and they'll be there to support you and provide that friendly face week by week in your form time activities. Hello, my name is Anne-Marie Stantonife and I'm the Academic Deputy here at Headington, and it's so lovely to be welcoming you with your daughters about to start their academic journey with us. And whether that journey will be a seven-year journey with our new Upper Threes, a five-year journey for our new upper fours, or a two-year journey for our new lower sixes, we promise it will be a rich and varied one, full of opportunity and challenge at every turn. Now, new parents often ask me, what qualities lead to academic success at Headington? And while we very much resist the idea that there is a stereotypical Headington girl, we do seek to cultivate certain core qualities in all our pupils. And those qualities are curiosity, confidence, courage, collaboration, compassion, and creativity. But if I had to isolate one of these qualities, it would be curiosity, that single quality needed for the drive for inquiry and exploration. Those who get the most out of their time here at Headington are those who try something new, who choose new things, whether in a single lesson or in their subject choices, or in their co-curricular options. The academic offer here at Headington is all about exposing your daughters to a rich and varied intellectual programme with increasing autonomy over her timetable as she progresses up through the school. As academic deputy, one of the most rewarding aspects of my job is working closely with a team of fantastic colleagues, and together we ensure that your daughter, whether in upper three or upper six, is thriving. I work particularly closely with our assistant head, Alex Thompson, who you'll be hearing from regularly as he is responsible for communicating your daughter's reports to her. He also runs the Academic Scholars Programme. But central to our monitoring and reporting system are our fantastic heads of section. This is Di Bates Brownsword, who's responsible for the upper three and the lower four. It's Becky Hawkes, who's responsible for upper four and the fifth form, and then Alice Barrett, who's the academic lead of the sixth form. And together, we will keep a very close eye on your daughter's academic progress and well-being. I'd like to say a few words about how we monitor and report academic progress and how we communicate this to you as parents. We have a system of learner profiles, and these are published to you four times a year. 
So that's twice in the long autumn term leading up to Christmas, and then on two more occasions in the spring and the summer terms. These learner profiles are used as the basis for personal target setting and that drive for continuous achievable improvement. Now there are several strands to these learner profiles, but for all our pupils, irrespective of key stage and irrespective of year group, we seek to assess their current performance in all of their subjects, alongside their organization, their effort, and their engagement. And we find that this additional focus on organization, effort, and engagement to be particularly informative, as it can tell us why a pupil may not be performing to the best of their ability. The learner profiles also form the basis for conversations that your daughter will have with their form tutors, central to the target, target setting process before they're sent home to you. So alongside the learner profiles, we have annual parents' evenings. You also receive full subject reports and tutor reports. So one way or another, you'll be hearing from us several times a year, and even more frequently if any academic need is identified. Here at Headington, we pride ourselves on the very strong relationships between pupils and their teachers. But crucial to their progress is also the strong bonds that we form with parents. So please do contact us at any point if you have any concerns. We are very much looking forward to welcoming your daughter to Headington in September. It will be hard work. We have high expectations and we expect all our pupils to take pride in their work. But rest assured, there are entire teams of staff around them to ensure that they make progress and they thrive. As I said at the beginning, bringing a sense of curiosity to all that she does here will ensure that your daughter has a really positive experience, forging a path all the way through to higher education and taking up a confident place in the world of work, the contours of which nobody among us can fully define. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Diane bates brown Sword, and I am known in school as Mrs. BB. My job here is the head of lower school, so I look after the upper threes and the lower four for two years, and I look after both of their academic needs, but also their pastoral care. I know that starting senior school is a huge move. I think every one of us can remember our first day at senior school. So in the first two years, it's really important that we get you settled in as quickly as possible and the first few days to be able to make some friends and to make some social connections. And then also in those two years while you're in lower school to explore as many opportunities as you can in extracurricular activity so that you can explore curiosity, but also to become a confident learner, to be able to feel that you can explore as many subjects as you can, because that's the beauty about lower school. We have got a really wide curriculum. So you can dip your toe into many different subjects and see where you really want to explore those for your future years and GCSEs and beyond. When you're in upper three and lower four, there are many, many opportunities for you to step up into leadership roles. We have got the form captain, but within that um, form, we've also got a diversity rep, you have got a well-being rep, and you've also got a school council. So you've got a voice, an opportunity to be that voice for the school. There's also many other roles where you can do where we have um, forms to present our section assembly. So there's lots of ideas there for you to be able to take on ownership and be a part of your education and have a voice. Speaking of extracurricular, there are so many opportunities throughout the week for you to explore different interests. So on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you will not have a lesson four. This is an opportunity for you to go and try a different club. And the carousel that we have operating on Tuesdays and Thursdays changes every four to five weeks. So over the year, you've got six opportunities to dip your toe into maybe arts club, maybe some cooking clubs after school, maybe you like classics, or maybe you would just like to do board games in the library. There's a chance for you to make other friends who aren't in your form and also to explore your interests further. If you're joining us in Upper Three, you have a really important day called Induction Day. This is Wednesday the 7th of September. 
So you will be coming along to the school, come in the main entrance doors. There'll be lots of people there to meet you and we will take you to your form room. There are four forms, so you'll be placed in one of those four forms. You'll get to meet your head of year, Mrs. Donwa, and really importantly, you'll get to meet your tutor who will look after you for two years. And there's a lead tutor and a co-tutor, so two people. On that day, we'll do lots of different activities. We'll get to know the school and orienteering exercise and just a chance to find out some interests of the others that are in your form and to look forward to seeing your timetable for the next day, which is when everyone will be back in school and it will be a really busy place and you'll know where to go and you'll be feeling a little bit more comfortable on the Thursday. If you're in lower four, you'll go into one of five forms, but you will join us on the Thursday, the 8th of September as a normal day. But you have a head of year, Mr. Rogers, he will make sure you know exactly where to go. And like the upper three, there'll be two form tutors who will look after you. Hello, my name's Simon Hawkes, Deputy Head at Headington School. As new starters in September, you'll be thinking about how you will get involved with the co-curricular programme here at Headington. Co-curricular is really important to us. Uh, we have a broad programme with over 100 different activities throughout the school. You might be interested in dance, drama, sport, or in one of the many super curricular activities that take place at lunchtimes and after school. I'm not going to go into huge detail because you can find out lots about what's on offer online, but I want to talk to you a little bit about how your journey might change as you go up through the school and about the process between now and your first activity taking place in September. So first of all, a bit about how we organise our activities. We like to think about pathways through your time at the school. So for example, if you're a dancer and you enjoy the performing arts, there are activities you would take part in in upper three, and those would evolve and change as you travel through the school all the way to sixth form. And always at the top of the school, there are opportunities to be a leader in your chosen area. Often girls will have a go at activities in upper three and then try new things and different things as they travel up through the school. And that's great. We encourage girls to get involved in as much as possible in as many different areas. Our philosophy for those of you that are starting the school in upper three and in upper four in particular is that we want you to be able to do a number of different things in your first year. You should be able to learn a musical instrument, perform in a play, compete for the school in a sports team and also take part in a regular extra supercurricular activity uh, like medics club or dissection club and do all of that without overstretching yourself. And our programme is designed to allow you to do just that. So a little bit about the process between now and that first activity, which will take place in about the middle of September. Before you arrive at school, you'll get a letter from Mr. Skim, our assistant head staff and co-curricular, and that'll arrive in your inboxes in about mid-August. That letter will provide details of the co-curricular programme we have in place in September. There'll be a link to an online activities book and you and your daughters will be able to review everything that's on offer, read descriptions, and generally just get excited about what's on offer over the coming weeks. Now, sign up for activities at Headington is done by the pupils, not the parents. And that sign up is done online and only once girls arrive at school in that first full week. There's plenty of time for girls to sign up for things and activities, as I said, don't start until the middle of September. So there's no rush and it's not offered on a first come, first serve basis. So even if you don't get a chance to read that letter in August straight away, it's not a problem. My name is Mr Cunningham, Head of Competitive Houses. What are Competitive Houses at Headington? Well, when you join us, you will be part of our Competitive House system and join one of 10 Competitive Houses. Each house is led by a member of staff, the Head of House, and a student leader, a sixth former. When you get to sixth form, or if you join in sixth form, you will have the opportunity to become a student leader and indeed lead one of our 10 competitive houses. What do you do as part of competitive houses? Well, in the autumn term, spring term and summer, you take part in a range of activities. These activities range from house sport to academic related activities, including house poetry, house travel writing, and new events like house podcasting. We also do exciting whole school events, sports day, house dance, and of course, house song. All these events you can take part in. You will go to a fortnightly meeting and your head of house will update you on all the events you could possibly get involved with. 
So my plea to you, when you come to Headington, get involved in those house events. You don't need to be the top star, the best writer, the best sports person. The best thing you can do is get involved and hopefully at the end of the academic year, you can see your house top of the leaderboard. I look forward to seeing you soon. Hello, I'm Helen Batchelor, the External Relations Trustee here at Headington. As part of the development team, we want to build a really strong sense of community amongst our parents, our alumni, our staff and our students. And we also want to raise money to enable us to continue to enhance the facilities of the school and to be able to offer more bursaries. So what do we do to help to bring the community together? As well as providing and putting on a lively programme of events, so whether that's social events, business events, networking events, we also um, really focus on helping our students to think about life beyond Headington and helping them to think about the careers that they might follow after they've left school. And the way in which we do that is through our online platform, Headington Connect. Headington Connect is our professional networking platform and a central place for our wider community to come together with a shared common bond, Headington School, and a shared willingness to support one another. 74% of our members are willing to help, whether that's through offering career advice, looking at a CV, or offering work experience opportunities, or willing to be a mentor for a sixth former or a Headingtonian. What's great to hear are the success stories from the platform, whether that's from a parent who's recruited a recent Headingtonian, or from a sixth former who's done some amazing work experience. So by joining Hennington Connect and signalling how you're willing to help, you really are making a difference to our six formers and recent Headingtonians. Our exciting initiative, Headington Futures, brings together some of our amazing community who offer their experience and advice drawn from their careers, specifically aimed at our sixth form. And that's through a series of podcasts and webinars. Uh, this is amazing to be able to offer to our sixth formers, especially as they start thinking about what they do beyond school. So two things, please do join Headington Connect and start making connections. And secondly, if you'd like to find out more about how you can get involved, please do get in touch. We look forward to meeting with you soon. I'm sure you enjoyed that and I hope lots of your questions were answered, but you may have some more. Don't worry, we want to answer them. So whether you are looking at the uh, sign-on package that's sent out to you from admissions or indeed girls, we're going to put you in contact with people, a girl, if you want to ask any questions over the summer. We want to make sure that you are completely ready for when you come in September. Have a lovely summer.